Welcome to Lesson 05. Uh, here I will show you how to use OpenGL in Java and we will create uh, textures and uh, uh, we'll apply them to our, our 3D object. Uh, so let's open Eclipse. Uh, previous lesson was uh, 04. So let's create a new one package. It will be Java package lesson 05. Uh, copy uh, files of previous lesson to a new one. So you see that now we have uh, in the lesson 05 we have two files. Uh, let's start run this application and see how it works. All is fine. You see that uh, sides of this uh, cube are colored uh, using a different uh, RGB colors. So what we need to do now is to implement uh, textures. So uh, let's go to the uh, method draw feature 3F and uh, let's make some changes here. So uh, first of all, uh, we will use a file object so we uh, will be able to uh, load a texture from a file. This is very convenient because we can search for this file in the internet, download it, it and then uh, after that we can use it in our application. So let's create an object file. Uh, let's call it file equals to uh, just before that. Uh, let's separate with empty lines. So uh, file new file. We will go to the uh, bin directory. Uh, let's after that we will go to Leo Randy. I will copy this. It will be more easier for me. So from bin directory, let's replace with backslash. So, bin directory and open gel lesson 05 data slash, and here will be our file name. So, let's search for file in the internet Google. Uh, I'd like to find, for example, Garfield image. image. I like this one. Let's save this image. It will, its name will be Garfield. Zero one, for example. Yeah. Uh, so after that, uh, we need to copy this file to our directory. Let's go to the D. Uh, Garfield. Let's go to the lesson 05 in JLB around the OpenGL folder. Let's create some folder here. Let's call it data. Go into it and copy Garfield file here. So we will use a Garfield underscore 01 and its extension JPG. JPG. Let's import this class from Java IO. And after that, we need to create a texture. With the texture, uh, the texture uh, equals to uh, texture IO new texture. We will use a file name, file object, and run to true. After that, uh, we will uh, do another thing. Uh, we need to uh, implement uh, int variable. We will call it texture. Texture. I texture. 
and we will use this int variable here and we'll uh, provide our object uh, its name is texture and we'll call it method get texture object and we need to specify G variable here this can be handled exception try kill brackets use catch brackets and here we can use IO exception exception and exception oh, for example print stack trace as usual <laughs> the easiest way trace yeah this can be imported what is it print stack trace oh, this one okay we created a texture uh, so what we also need to do is to uh, enable a, a gel texture so we need to use G GL enable after that we specify G dot oh sorry GL two dot GL texture texture gel underscore texture text underscore 2d this way okay uh, so we have done this and uh, uh, this is really simple you can see it because this is a basic how to use this uh, so after we have enabled the texture mode we need to uh, bind this texture so we use G GL uh, bind texture so we can use the here uh, gl2 dot gl texture to deal we can copy it from here and here we will use the i texture okay this Okay. Is it a mistake here? I don't think so because the uh, texture. Oh, I see. Let's do it something like this. Ah, this is a simple type. It's a simple type, int, not integer. So, okay, all this. All is valid now, and uh, uh, we load the texture, we create texture object, uh, we uh, assign uh, int uh, value to um, i texture, and after that we use i texture to, be, to bind the check texture. So all is simple now. So uh, what we need to do uh, now we will uh, draw a texture. So let's use this. Mm. Let's implement some counter counter equals to null. If counter is greater than three, then counter equals to null. This is the simplest way, the most easiest way. So, uh for better understanding, I used this a new variable counter. So here we will use a if clause if counter if zero equals to a counter, then uh, use ggl text text coordinates to f. Something like that. What is wrong here? GGL text coordinates to F. Must work. Something wrong, I think so. G dot 
gl.tags to app. All is right. So here we will use a, a coordinates in a two-dimensional texture. So for x uh, and for y. Uh, so here we will use, uh, for example, zero, zero, uh, else. If counter equals to one, then we will use the one. Zero. Uh, oh, let's do it. zero, one, zero, zero, one. Here we will use two, three. Here we will use uh, uh, no, null zero. And also we need to increment counter, so we can do it this way. Okay, let's try and run this application. Ah, oh, let me do a final check, Garfield, in a bin data folder. I mm, suppose that we can uh, receive an exception now because, uh, for example, file uh, cannot be found. So, for example, we must use a dot here. Mm, so let's try. Okay. Ha! You see that it works. Let's rotate our cube. So you see that a picture has been assigned to each cup, each side of this cube. And I suppose that uh, also vertexes and sides are colored uh, with different colors which uh, we used in previous lesson. So let's also rename this lesson to lesson 05. 05. And let's disable our color algorithm. So let's disable this line and run this application again. So yes, you see now that our cube has been assigned with texture and background color is white. Okay, so uh, you can do your homework and uh, you can, for example, uh, assign different textures for each car, uh, for each side of this cube. So you can assign uh, one image here, one image on the right side, one another image on the top side. So this is very easy. All what we need to do is to download uh, uh, different images and then uh, create texture objects and assign them. So, uh, okay, uh, this is a 05 lesson. In, an, in the next lesson, I will show you how to use blending. So, uh, we, our cube will be transparent, and I will create another cube inside this one. And you will see that uh, using transparency, uh, we can see uh, object which is, uh, resides inside the cube um, via its uh, sides. So opacity will be about 50. So uh, I've created a Facebook group. Its name is Lea Randi. You can write me an email on gmail.com or Learandi mail room. Uh, or also you can visit uh, www.learandi.com site. Mm. So uh, uh, my Facebook uh, group is here. You can join and uh, will receive additional benefits.